Okay, so here is where I'm at <laughs> so far. Um, I've added the other couch and this humongous area rug, which is from Home Goods. And in between, this first of all, this carpet is really good quality carpet. It's super freaking thick. And I just love how in between there the gray, it picks up the gray from the couch, but the actual color is like a gray and like a gray and white. Like a, it's actually like light gray, dark gray, and then like white. So I love this. Um I'm standing over in the far corner of the living room, right here beside the TV that still ain't got mounted. Um so let me show you from this angle. This is the new couch, the one that just came. And of course I've taken the pillows off, but that have that much space on that side. I can't talk this morning. And then that walk through over there. And I'll come around on this side and show you from all the way over here in the dining room. So for me, this looks more complete than when it was just like open. The open made me feel like the room was off balance, which is why I wanted to add a couch. Um, and I didn't want to do a love seat just because I wanted more bang for my buck, I guess. And I knew the space would be able to handle it. I didn't want to do like two really nice accent chairs because of this chair, which I already had. And it's just like a single sitting chair. Um, so I didn't want, I felt like it would still be off balance with like two accent chairs. So I just went with the couch. So I have the two large couches and then the shorter one. So technically this room definitely could have held like a U-shaped sectional, which is what I was looking at. But then I thought, ah, I kind of want the feel of furniture separation. And I actually don't mind... I typically don't care for things that are all looking just alike. But in this case, I actually love. I actually love it, to be honest with you. More seating for when I'm hosting something. I like that because I love for my guests to be comfortable. And then um, still very spacious. So I'm looking for some pillows now, which I had no look at home goods. By the way, this rug came from home goods and it is a 11 it's a nine and a half by 11 and a half is the um specs on it and it was um two hundred dollars which to me was a really good deal for a rug this size and i don't know if you can see that but when you're putting a huge area rug in a space your the front legs of your furniture is supposed to be able to fit comfortably on the um area rug so as you can see i have plenty of room around the perimeter so i'm looking for a coffee table and since i've created this somewhat galley <laughs> style living area um i'm gonna probably end up going well actually you know what i could do either or in this space i could do like a rectangular one um, that would fit nicely in there, or I could do a circular one, but, um, yeah, I could do a circular one or a rectangular one, and I'm kind of leaning more toward the rectangle, I don't know, I would have to actually see it in this space, I think, um, I don't know. It have to be a really nice size round one, I think, to break up the straight lines that I have going over here. But I, I love it. It's cozier. Um, so I needed to get the couch in here so that I could de determine the type of bar stools that I want. I already knew the type I wanted, but I needed to make sure that they were going to fit comfortably here underneath the uh, counter, which they will, actually. They will. Um, so yeah, hunting for, the TV will be mounted, I think Monday or Tuesday of this week, which I'll be back at work, but that's when they'll come and mount it. 
So, once it comes off the floor and goes up there on the wall, I ha still have a lot of room for my under TV entertainment, whatever it is I find. Um, I'm thinking about, I'm definitely looking for the pillows. Um, over there where the dining room table will go and the buffet. Still plenty enough room over there for those two pieces without making it seem crowded in here. So I'm actually loving how this looks and feels. Let me bring you down. So, so that's how it looks. I'm up here and it's going to look so much better when I put the pillows on here. Um, and I just have two white fuzzy throws. Which I do use because I keep it so cold in here. That's how I like it. <laughs> so. That's where I am now. I'm just kind of trying to complete each area um, as I go. But it's hard to do um, completing an area when you shop our favorite home decor stores. And if you, one of those type of stores, if you see it, you better get it type of deal. Um, it's really hard to stay focused. <coughs> on one area <clears throat> is is really hard. I'm struggling with that. And I really struggled with it when I went and got this rug because I was like, well, I can't oh, I can't find any rugs, so I might as well do this. Let me show you how the curtains look in the bathroom now that they are hung. Oh. Let me step back because so they're to the floor and they go all the way up to the ceiling. I love them. I love, love, love. And then behind them, I just have a white um, cloth shower curtain behind them. That's what that looks like on those hooks. So that's how she looks all the way up to the ceiling. All the way back down. I love the cleanliness of this room. And I'll show you mine's too. So that's how it's looking so far. And the space really makes the room appear to be bigger. <coughs> Coffee time. Okay, so let's go to the room. So I can show you these ones. I'm trying multitask. Okay. Fan. Okay, so all the way up. And these have a different pattern on them. Oh, I love it. So spot like. Perfect example. I went to get another one of those rugs. No rug. Um <laughs> They didn't have another one of those, so I should have gotten it then, but, oh my God, the night of the walking dead. Okay, she is. <laughs> anyway, focus. So, that's what we're looking like in the bathroom so far. Very spa inspired. Just like I had it at the house, but with a little bit more room. So, I have Epsom salt back there, Q-tips, hot browns, and cotton balls. And you know some greenery to bring bring in. So I have three elements here. The mirror look, okay, wood element, glass with the white, um, with the white uh, essentials inside of the apothecary jars, but it's actually a useful space because I'm using all those items. And then my greenery. Mm -hmm. So I still have to finish this bathroom. I have to find some stuff to go in here. <sighs> Dang house. <laughs> it's like my house, y'all. But I love it. So nothing has changed in here, you guys. Just everything is still the same. Um yeah, so that's what my rods were in over there. Mm. And I'm excited. Can't live without it. Okay, so let me turn you guys around. Ooh, okay. 
So, thumbs up this video if you in agreement that it is really hard to stay focused. Like when you're when you're trying to intentionally work on separate spaces at a time and complete a certain space in your um, home um, that it's really hard when you go out to get things for that space and then you see things for another space you may be working on and like I said if it's like a home goods or a TJ Maxx or something like that Marshalls Ross you, if you don't get it stuff at those stores it's gonna be gone so it's like you know, it's like you, it have you, it's like, do I just let it go? Like, do I just pass up this jewel I found because I'm not working in that area right now? Or, like, what do I do? That's what I've been battling with. So, when I went to Home Goods to get this rug, I also, of course, was looking for pillows. I was really shocked that they let me down on the pillows. I guess because I'm looking for a certain kind of pillow. They didn't have them. They didn't have nothing lush in that color that I was looking for. The accent in here. So, I said, well, I'll just, um, if I can't find any pillows, then I'm going to make them. I'm just going to go to the fabric store and pick out my fabric and just make the pillows. Because I only need, what I'm looking for, I only need four, five. I only need five of them. Two for this couch, two for that couch, and then one for the for the chair over there. Um, and then the other pillow I can get from Home Goods, but the one that I want with the blues in it to go with this room behind me, like that room. See, originally those were for the living room, but I felt that they were better suited for the bedroom because there was only two of them. So and the bathroom is the accent color too. So I wanted to keep that going in here. Like living room, dining room area with accents of blue and white. Um, that's just so calming and so rich and classic. And just, it's a color that will never go away. It was the most soothing color I probably have used in my decor. With the exception of this repose gray. Um, ever, really. So... And I actually thought about doing another blue accent wall here. But I was like, you know what? Like at the house. But I was like, nah, I don't want the accent wall. I want everything to have a neutral base. Like legit everything neutral. And then the subtle pops of color. And this is what I'm learning that I love the most. And that I don't get tired of so quick. And it's easy to change for a person who likes to change things up a lot. That's a very inexpensive way to do it. All the major stuff is on the neutral side. And then the little pops of accent stuff can be replaced. You know? So, I'm going to start. I'm going to look in some stores that I don't typically shop at for the pillows. Um, and if I don't, like I said, if I don't find them, then I'll just, I'll just make my own. Or just sew my own pillows. Um... I saw two, I saw two mirrored, there was silver and mirrored sea tables, which I thought about getting, but then I thought, well, Sharon, when you do find the coffee table, like, where would they go? I don't want it to be overly crowded in here, but again, you know, I was all focused because... I really liked them, and I thought I could use them. And then I thought, no. <laughs> now, sure enough, I left them. I didn't get them. But I'll be done, put the table in here and be thinking, well, I could use a seat table here, and they'll be that one will be gone. It was at um, TJ Maxx. So the only thing I picked up was the rug. Which I already knew visually in my brain, like what type of rug I wanted, what I wanted it to look like. And then I just walked right in the store, went back there, and started, I probably like the fourth rug that I turned to on the wall. This one popped up, and I was like, boom, that's it. 
So I kept looking just in case. But I kept coming back to this because I was like, no, I wanted something that was very simple. Not doing a whole lot, but doing just enough. And I think it is definitely giving just enough glam. And then whenever I add the table and the decor on the table and just... Sharon, I just need to focus. Okay, I'm rambling. Okay, I am so rambling right now, y'all. Because I am... I'm just in decor overload, like... I'm just in decor overload, and I'm taking my time, so I'm not rushing to do it, but I still, it don't take away from me not getting distracted when I'm out trying to get what it is I want, and then I see other stuff, like, I see other stuff. I did purchase the washer and dryer from Lowe's, so that'll be getting delivered this week, and I'll be back on the truck, of course, um, so... One of the daughters, I have to come and let them in. I didn't get anything real fancy. I'm going to tell y'all, because when I was looking at them, I was like, um, I, I should have just gotten the front loader, but I was so intimidated by them. Like, oh my God. I was so intimidated by the front loaders. And I was like, well, it's just you. Sharon, it's just you, so it's not like you're washing, you'd be washing clothes for an entire family, you know? So I went with, I think it's, you know what, I don't know the brand. Samsung, maybe? I don't know. Um, We'll see when they get here. But I went with a white set, and even they were, I'm used to the old school, honey, the you get the pair for four hundred dollars. What them? What them at? Cause they sure wasn't done in there. No, I want the washer and dryer for four hundred dollars. Sixteen hundred dollars. I was like, whoa, what? What do I get? What else do I get with this washer and dryer? Do I get an ironing board? A really nice iron? Like, what else do I get? A steamer? Anything coming with the washer and dryer? No, it, it's not. That's just the regular price. Oh. Hmm. I was in total shock, y'all. I haven't bought the modern washing dryers for in forever. Because y'all know I was running the old school ones at the house. And I was just like, whoa. So I should have gotten to spend that kind of money on a washing dryer. I should have just got the front loaders, but... I was just really intimidated by them. I don't know. I think they're absolutely beautiful. But I was like, I don't, mm, Sharon. <laughs> so I went with, like I said, a white set. I think it's Samsung. Um, and I don't think they have the, um, the, uh, what do you call that thing? The, the barrel that, ch -ch 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 -ch. it's not in these. This one. I forget what they call that thing. But you know what I'm talking about. The little piece that swish your clothes around. It doesn't have that in it. So it's just like a big. Um, I like it though. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. Very, very, very modern. <coughs> but pricey. To, that's pricey to me, honey. I don't know. I Like I said, I haven't bought a wash and dry set since I paid $400 brand new. Maybe six. For the set. So... Um, yeah. So I did that and the couch. So next, and I like to, here's how I like to make purchases like that. Like if I, like I've spent the money for the couch, which was still a good deal because I used my Ashley discount. So the couch was essentially nothing almost. Um, so, I, I use my discount for the couch. And, um, the wash and dry, of course, wasn't a discount. But, <clears throat> when I make a large purchase like that, <clears throat> I like to make sure it's paid up front and full. I don't like payments. So, I just save up or whatever. Make the purchase. And then I won't do any, I won't do any, like, extra shopping. Until that money that I've spent out 
it's back in my account. Sometimes I won't touch it. I won't do it unless it's that back in there in half. That's just how I like to do it whenever I make a large purchase. So, for example, I won't buy the table. I won't buy the table and chairs until I put back this money from the wash and dryer and from the couch. That money has to be back in my account. And then, once it is, I buy the next large purchase. Then once that money is back in my account, plus half most of the time, um, then I can go on to the next purchase. That's how I like to do it. And if I do two or three large purchases at one time, then I won't do any shopping, like extra stuff, until all of that money is legit back into my account. That's just how I like to do it. And then I have a certain amount, <clears throat> me personally, it, like in my budget that I have set for myself, I have a certain amount that's just dedicated for shopping, for stuff that I don't necessarily need, but that I just want. So if I, and I have a deal with myself that if I go into that money, and we'll say for example today, Saturday, so... If I go shopping today for those pillows, let's just say I go find the pillows, right? And while I'm there, I see a table, a coffee table. And I'm like, oh, God, I can't leave this table. I really need this table. I'm in love with this table. I want this table. The table has to come home with me. <laughs> so I bought pillows, table. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to want stuff to go on that table. That means I'm going to be shopping for stuff to go on the table, right? If I buy stuff for that table and I exhaust the monies that I have set up for myself for just extra stuff, I can't buy myself anything else until that money is back in there double. Because the deal with myself is that <coughs> it's like a penalty to myself. Because if you exhaust it, the penalty is that you have to double it. It has to be double the amount back in that account before I can do that again. Okay? And, that, and it works. Like, I have that deal. And I keep that deal with myself, which is how I'm able to do a lot of the stuff people question that I do as far as finances go. Like, how are you able to, you know, <laughs> do house and an apartment and, you know, whatever. Because I'm very, I plan every step with my money. I just do. I work too hard, and I like to play harder. So, in order to do that and be comfortable, you have to make certain sacrifices. You know, I tell y'all that all the time. It's all about the sacrifice, y'all. It's all about the sacrifice. I know y'all probably think, girl, shut the hell up. We on here for home decor. We did not come on here for be talking to, like we your kids. I know. <laughs> somebody, I can help somebody with that, you know. Don't pay no attention to this wig, child. I know it has seen better days. Look, Judy. I found her. Judy, are you watching from Baltimore? Best thing ever, honey. This is Ninja Coffee Pot. Ooh, girl. Don't look in this refrigerator, y'all. You know she don't shop. So last night I did go get my Japanese. It's going to be breakfast today. I barely ate anything though. This gonna be breakfast. No, ain't no shame in my game, honey. None whatsoever. This is the creamer that I like to use. I don't even have to use sugar. Hazelnut and I have French vanilla. But no sugar needed. Who is this? Nestle. Coffee mate. Not a sponsor video, by the way. <laughs> Not sponsor. Um. Well, what was I saying before I got on my tangent? <coughs> so, I'm gonna go to. stores I don't typically shop at for stuff like like I don't go in Pier 1 all the time all the time 
but I do go in there. It's, it's not one of the stores that's completely off my list, but like Pottery Barn, um, Pottery Barn, we don't have a Z Gallery here. I guess if we did, I probably would be in it today. And I don't feel like driving. The nearest one is, I think, well, there's two. There's one in Charlotte, and then there's one in Raleigh, North Carolina, or Durham, somewhere like that. Which is quite a bit of a drive for me. Which is crazy because I can drive to Florida <laughs> 10, 11 hours straight. But to drive like an hour or two hours is like, what's the point? Like, why do that? Like, that's, that's crazy and it'll tire me out and I don't want to do it. So short drives like that in a car, I hate. Hate. But put me in a truck and direct me in a direction, I'm out. Truckers, we'll be going to PA. Oh my God. On our next run. Y'all probably thinking, honey, you didn't even take us to Florida this week. I know. Don't judge. I'm going to do better. I'm going to do better, I promise. It's still really early. 6.23 in the morning. It's 6.23, y'all. Whoa. So. Mm -hmm. Let me open up my blinds and let some natural light pour in. So she's coming together, you guys. She's coming. And I think because I am on the road for the most part, like during the week, it doesn't really bother me. But I guarantee you, if I was local, <laughs> if I was driving locally and I had to be in here every day with this unfinished, oh, um, I'd be crazy. I would be so worked up. Anxiety would be so out the roof that girl oh my god I just wouldn't be able to make it in here y'all if I was here on a consistent basis while it's in get ready mode I would not I would uh uh mm -mm -mm -mm. I would go crazy but as soon as <laughs> as soon as um as soon as at least by Christmas. I'm I'm trying to push till Christmas to stay on the truck over the road and then come off and be back local after Christmas or before Christmas, right before Christmas. That's my goal. But um, what I came out here to do, I've already done it. So I could have been back local, but you know, it's other stuff I want to do. Like I said, I want um, and I only have what one, two, three. Three? <laughs> I'm not even going to consider them large purchases either. <laughs> Two buffets, basically. Okay, I was about to say, why y'all scooting down? Y'all getting lower and lower. Look. Okay. Let me scoot back then. Um, you don't be just sliding down doing what you want, tripod. Nobody tell you to do that. Um, so... The buffet, table and chairs, bar stools, and then the thing over there. That's like the major, and that's not even major, really. I mean, let's just be real. Once that's done, like, there's nothing else to do. You know, little accent pieces here and there, but, you know, that ain't nothing. That's a, that's one shopping trip for me. It just is. But I am going to be doing, I'm going to be doing Thanksgiving I'm going to still be doing Christmas breakfasts. None of that has changed. I'm going to be hosting something for my friends, my girlfriends, once I get it all like I want, or at least once I get the table and bar stools um, in here. I'm going to be hosting something for my girlfriends night in. Um, what else? Just hosting little stuff when I'm home on the weekends or whatever. Nothing will change, but I don't I don't want to host nothing with no bar stools and no table for them to sit, you know. But I could totally host without a coffee table, without buffets. I could totally host without that type of stuff. But I just don't want to do anything till I got it like I want it, okay? That's just all it is to it. Once I get it like I want it. 
we'll be good to go. I love this place. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. If there was, like, the only thing I would change about this apartment is the fact that they put a bedroom on the same side with the master. I would change that for sure. Because one of the other units, one of the other complexes that I had looked at, theirs was separated. And I really liked it. I really liked how they put the two extra bedrooms on the one side and the bedroom was master was off by itself. The only thing I didn't like about that unit though was the laundry room area was basically in the living room. Like it was some double doors and it was literally like right where your couch would be. And I wouldn't have been able to do this. It was still an open floor plan, but I don't think the living room space was as spacious or as open as this is. Something made it not so open. I can't remember what. But anyway, I would also change, I would swap the closet. In the bathroom in the master like those two rooms need to be totally swapped around the bathroom shouldn't be behind the door especially because it's a room you use all the time and it's directly behind the bedroom door which i like to keep open so i have to you know close the door to go in the bathroom i think that's a stupid concept i think those two should have been opposite each other but i get why they did why why they did it because the bathroom and the laundry room are wall to wall. So they're just running the plumbing right there together. I saw I get why they done it, but I still think it's a stupid concept to have that like that. I think that's all I would change. Look, this morning, this morning, I went to go get my charger out the car. And I forgot about that alarm. Open up that door. That alarm started banging and dinging and oh god, it just sounded like sirens was coming. I was running trying to hit that keypad to put my code in. Then the other day before I left to get on the truck, last, what, Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday? Or was it Tuesday? Tuesday, I think it was. I lit a candle. Barely lit the candle. I mean, lit it and that little trickle of smoke. That came off that first burn. Set the fire alarms off. So here I go running in here from in there. They try to get um. What was I running in here for? Nothing. Then I had to run back because I'm thinking, okay, get a pillow and just like fan up there by the. Well, that's a good thing to know though that they're that sensitive, so they'll go off like. You know. It's good to know. <laughs> So, that's all I got going on, y'all. That's my update. <clears throat> I'll keep you posted if I um, come across the pillows and stuff, of course. I'll keep you updated along the way. We're coming. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Um, What am I about to do? I'm about to... Put my face on. And then. I got to record. Three hair videos. And. I really need to go ahead and get them done. Um, three hair videos. Which the hair is over at the house. Because I had red to put it together for me. Like put just start the unit. And then I always do my own, um, add my own, if it's a closure or a front, I always do that part myself. She just do the construction around here to help me out. Um, especially when it's more than one hair company or whatever. So, I need to go over there and, um, do that. I still have clothes at the house I need to go get and bring over here. My jewelry, my shoes, all my handbags, all that stuff is still at the house. I haven't brought in any of that. So I need to do that today. I need to go source out my pillows. 
And even my, um, excuse me, even my, that furniture place, excuse me, that I showed you guys on the last vlog, I think it was. I think some of you thought that was big lots. There wasn't big lots. It was, I had a clip. I was going to do it separately. Like a, a shot with me. I was going to do it separately. So that was like one store by itself that I stumbled upon. <clears throat> and it doesn't have a name. It's just like, it just says decor. So it has the, the new furniture side, which you guys saw on that um, vlog. And then on the other side of them, it's a whole consignment store jam-packed with all kinds of jewels. Okay? All kinds. And the name, it just says decor. That's it. No name. But everything on the new furniture side, which you guys saw in the vlog, um, I don't, I couldn't really tell, like, if that was Ashley Furniture accompanied by some other unique pieces or what. I don't know. But, um, we measured a table. He and I, I saw a table. It was the one that, as I was walking out the door, you could kind of see it with, um, the chairs. Um, it was a big round table, actually. So, I brought the measurements home to see if I could fit it and a buffet because I'm thinking it's way too big. It Like, I wouldn't be able to put a buffet over there if I went with that particular table. It's huge. It's huge. And it only seats, I think, four up to, up to six chairs probably could go to it. But I think he had a stage with four chairs. But it is so massive. And pretty, but I don't think I will be able to fit the buffet. I'm gonna measure it today and see if I can do both. And if I can, then it's a go for sure. Because it was really, really nice. And I don't I don't want to buy furniture from anywhere else, but actually, honestly, because of my discount, like it's just retarded to go somewhere else and get furniture unless it's gonna be cheaper than Ashley with the discount. Otherwise, it do need, wouldn't even make sense. But, if they don't have what I'm looking for, then, you know, that's just what it is. <sighs> I know y'all probably like, girl, is that it? <laughs> okay, I'm out. <laughs>